Hello and welcome to your first episode of Quick Revision. And today's session will be on hydrocarbons. So if you've got an exam or a quiz coming up, this is the perfect presentation for you. What I've done here is created a partial table of all the hydrocarbons that you've probably covered in organic chemistry. Alkanes, cycloalkanes, alkenes, cycloalkenes, alkynes, and aromatics. So we'll begin with an example. We'll then look at the level of saturation. Recall that if we have double bonds, it's unsaturated. If it's single bonds between carbons, it's saturated. And then we'll look at typical reactions that each of these families undergo. Okay, so let's begin with the alkanes. So an example could be ethane, C2H6. So ethane is saturated. There are no double bonds between the carbons here. In terms of the chemical reactions, substitution. And the classic example is halogenation. So if I began with methane, CH4, added some chlorine, one of the chlorines here would substitute for one of the hydrogens and would end up with CH3, Cl, HCl. Let's now look at cycloalkanes. So with cyclic compounds, you have a ring. And the classic cycloalkane is represented in the form of a hexagon. And that's C6H12. So each of these points on the hexagon represents a CH2. So CH2, 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 CH2. Six CH2s gives you the molecular formula C6H12. And like all alkanes, it's saturated, undergoes substitution reactions, and the classic one is halogenation. So if I started with C6H12, added some chlorine, the same process would occur. One of those hydrogens would be replaced by one of these chlorines to give C6H11Cl. And then that hydrogen comes over to that remaining chlorine to give hydrogen chloride gas. Okay, let's have a look at alkenes. The classic alkene is ethene, and you could see dramatically that it's very different to any of the other molecules that we've drawn. It's got a double bond between the carbons. Its molecular formula is C2H4, and it's unsaturated because of that double bond, undergoes addition reactions, not substitution, including halogenation, which is the addition of chlorine or any other halogen across that double bond. When chlorine attaches to that double bond, we now end up with a chlorine here and a chlorine here, while well, that double bond breaks. So in effect, we end up with C2H4Cl2. Another important one is hydrogenation, which is the addition of hydrogen. Those two hydrogen atoms would add across that double bond. The bond would break, and you'd end up with C2H6. Another one is hydration. And in hydration reactions, we're adding water. We're adding water across that double bond. And sometimes in your textbooks, you'll see water written like this, hydrogen attached to an OH. And what happens is that double bond breaks. The OH attaches to one carbon while the hydrogen attaches to the second. And now we end up with a CH3, and the second carbon now has two hydrogens plus an OH. So we actually generate an alcohol. So during hydration reactions, alkenes become alcohols.
The other really important one that you need to be aware of is polymerization. So we had many, many, many molecules of ethene under high pressure and a catalyst. The bond would break and these molecules would basically attach to each other, creating a very, very long polymer chain that we know as plastic. So these are the four most common that you may get in a quiz or an exam. However, though, there is a fifth, and I should point this out, and that's called hydrohalogenation. And in the wording, you can see that we're adding hydrogen plus a halogen across that double bond. So let's assume that we've got hydrogen attached to bromine. Again, that double bond would break. The hydrogen would attach to one carbon. And the bromine would attach to the other carbon. So we end up with CH3 attached to a carbon that's bonded to two hydrogens plus a bromine. Now cycloalkenes look a little bit like cycloalkanes because of course they're cyclic. The biggest difference of course is because they're an alkene, they've got a double bond. So there's a double bond represented here. So if we started from the top, that would represent a CH2, that would be CH, CH, CH2, CH2, CH2. So C6, H10. Whenever we have a double bond, the number of carbons relative to the alkane goes down by two. So here's the alkane version. Here's the alkene version of a six carbon cyclic compound. And you could see quite clearly the number of hydrogens is less by a unit of two in the alkenes compared to the alkanes. And the same thing applies to the open chain structures. So if I was looking at say ethane versus ethene, again, you can see that there's two less hydrogens on the alkene compared to the alkane. In terms of unsaturation, well, we've got a double bond, so it's unsaturated. Again, it's addition reactions. So all these that we see here, So all the reactions that the alkenes undergo, the cycloalkenes undergo as well. Okay, let's now have a look at alkynes. Carbon, triple bond, hydrogen either side. Formula, well we've got two carbons and we've got two hydrogens. So C2H2. Is it unsaturated? Yes. In fact, if we broke that triple bond and ended up with a single bond, we could potentially add another four hydrogens. So that would take us from an alkyne all the way back to an alkane. And one thing that you need to be aware of is the number of bonds, single, double, triple, increases the reactivity of that hydrocarbon. So the most reactive hydrocarbons are the ones that contain triple bonds. In terms of the reactions they undergo, addition. So we can add halogens, we can add hydrogen through hydrogenation, we can hydrate them with water, um, polymerization, and hydrohalogenation. Aromatics, benzene, cyclic structure with a ring in the middle make sure you do not confuse benzene with cyclohexane. Cyclohexane and benzene look very similar. The biggest difference is that circle in the middle. Molecular formula C6H6. It's unsaturated. However, unlike the other unsaturated families, it undergoes substitution reactions. So really, benzene behaves more like an alkane or a cycloalkane than an alkene or an alkyne. 
The classic substitution reactions that aromatics undergo include halogenation, nitration, and sulfonation. And one more key point for your revision involves geometrical isomerism of this family, specifically the alkenes. Alkenes, you may recall, can exist in both trans and cis forms. So, for example, this alkene has bromine atoms across the double bond, but diagonally across. The bromines are on opposite sides to each other diagonally. That would be known as the transversion of that isomer, trans. And this is extremely examinable. If, on the other hand, you have the substituents on the same side, you have the cis version of that isomer. And that concludes my first episode of quick revision within organic chemistry, specifically looking at hydrocarbons.